Okay, let's go ahead and continue our discussion about our residual plots with respect to our regression analysis. Okay, so we've gone through some of the checks that we need to do. There's two more that we need to check on. First one is we need our residuals to be normally distributed. Let's put that up. Normally distributed. Okay, but it's different now. So traditionally when we talk about normal distribution, you're looking for the bell curve. And I have this plot right here, and I'm going to tell you that this thing is normally distributed. And you're like, what the heck? That looks nothing like a normal distribution. Well, it's because we've got to change how we're looking at our normal distribution now. Okay, so we've got our zero line kind of going right down the middle. Okay, think of our zero line going right down the middle here. So instead of like thinking that we're looking at just this picture of a, bell, of a bell, think about we're looking at kind of like a hill from the top down. So our hill is normally distributed with the majority of the data bunched about the center line zero and the occurrences happening further and further out are less and less likely. And this has to be true all the way down our distribution. I wish I could draw better in three dimensions that's about as good as you're going to get. So data is clustered about the zero line, just like it's clustered about the center here. And then the data or the residuals occur less and less frequently further and further away from the line. That's what it means when it's normally distributed. Now, when we have a problem with it, you might see something like this. This isn't the only way, but this could be something that we'd see. We see zero here and we see like the data clumped at the bottom and only a couple data points like spread out on the top end. This is not normally distributed. This is really skewed. This is saying that we've got this kind of hill and then this massive hill and it just kind of goes straight down. And then we've got this kind of long thing, massive hill, and then it comes straight down. So this is not normally distributed, but we need it to be normally distributed. So we see um, basically not clumped clumped about zero line. Okay, so we've got one more. It's got a really big fancy name and a simple definition. It's called, we need our data to be homoskedastistic, or the problem that we see is that we see heteroskedasticity. Okay, two really big words, but really what we're looking for is constant constant variance. And the problem that we're going to see, that it's a problem, there's some other ways we can see it too, but it's fanning. So let me draw a picture of it once again. Okay, so notice up here how our normal distribution is like the same size as we go down our distribution. It doesn't, the variance or the spread of that distribution doesn't change. Okay, now though, if we, this is what happens when we have non-constant variance. So we have it about zero and we have our data points and they do something something like this. Okay, so what are we seeing here? We're seeing that the data is spreading out. We see this classic, what's called a fan shape. Let me kind of mark that out. We see this fanning going on where the normal, dis it's still all normally distributed, but the, but the variance is increasing. So we see that we start off with like this tight little normal distribution, but then it kind of gets bigger and then it gets bigger and then it gets bigger where the variance is spreading it out. It's making it bigger and bigger. And this is a problem. We don't want to see constant variance. Uh, so we kind of have to look at our data a little bit differently to be able to see these distributions. But this is really what we're looking for. We're looking for our data to be normally distributed all the way across. And even when it is normally distributed, like this is normally distributed, but it's, we need constant variance as well. So anyways, those are the checks that we need to do between these two videos, and good luck.